the concept of a 13 billion 700 million year old being capable of creating the entire universe and its billions of galaxies don't forget monitoring simultaneously the thoughts and actions of seven billion human beings on this planet is ludicrous now if he did exist he would have left a book a little bit more consistent and verifiable to everyone that was reading it that is more that can be said for a collection of Iron Age Middle Eastern mythology you call the Bible I bet you you see it cannot tell me anything about the authors their credibility or possibly their ulterior motives what bugs me the most is the fact that you guys cite them for the most extraordinary of claims if he would have sent his son to earth he would have visited numerous people the Chinese, the Polynesians, Japanese, Somalians in certain areas so on and so forth he wouldn't have just visited a couple of Jews if he exists he should not refuse to give any tangible evidence to, exist, to his existence and then turn around and punish people with an eternal torment for drawing the natural conclusion that he does not exist I think that's utterly absurd and stupid and quite frankly I find it to be very immoral this needs to be brought to your attention the only reason why you even consider believing in this God is the fact of where you are born consider the geography I'm pretty sure if you were born in other countries you would have been a Hindu or something of that nature what gets me the most is you guys say that everybody's going to burn in hell for not believing in God well I have you see us know that I'm an atheist and last but not least I want you to take another look at other religions and their gods and I completely understand that you guys say you do not believe in any other gods but what I want you to do is to take this moment and really analyze what you're saying once you say that you do not believe in any other gods I want you to examine why you do not believe in those other gods and when you come up with that answer you will understand why I, the quiet atheist do not believe in yours.